we're extending our adventure deeper into the gold fields. After a few hot and dusty days on the Holland track, we stopped in at Kulgadi to refuel and restock before heading north into gold territory. Our destination for the next couple of nights is Rao's Lagoon, an oasis in the centre of a bone dry landscape. From here we will take a trip out to explore X pastoral station called Credo and have a bit of a look at that station lifestyle. We actually rolled into camp at a pretty reasonable hour that day, but having tackled the end of the Holland track all the way through to here in one day, it was early to the canvas sack for all of us. Um, so far we've seen a cow and yep. what else? Saw so a cow, saw some camel, fresh camel poo. That was pretty cool. Um, what else did we see? Some uh, lizards and um, this is about where I get off. So. <laughs> We've been out of control. It's <laughs> got a little while. <laughs> oh shit, I'm seeing something today. <laughs> this morning, I made a damper. It was burned, had the consistency of a rock cake, but was doughy in the middle, yet somehow we still ate it. Base is a little burned. Oh yeah. With the water level in the lagoon lower than I'd seen it a couple of years ago, I noticed a curious object in the middle and flew Drony Stark out to see what it was. To me, it looks like the top of a steam train. After a quick vehicle check, we were off out to explore for the day. I should really be performing these checks every day. Pop the bonnet, check the oil, check the water, give all the batteries a bit of a jiggle, make sure the clamps haven't come loose, make sure the terminals haven't come loose, give it all a bit of a once over. Uh, you want to maybe have a peek underneath as well. When you've been travelling through a country as dirty as this, it's really easy to spot um, problem spots where things might have come loose. You're just looking for um, like a clean spot where things have been moving and rubbing. That's going to indicate some problems. And keep an eye out for any leaks, obviously. So that's what I'm doing this morning before we head out and um, explore Credo Station. First stop is the old Credo homestead, where the caretaker takes up residence. Gotta let them know we intend to explore the property in case we get lost. The various caretakers have built up a museum here, painting a pretty good picture of the history in this area, including who first took up the land, the various uses for the land over the years, and even an explanation for the steam train in the lake. It turns out I was close, it's a boiler. It was placed above what was then the high water mark of the lake, so of course it soon got flooded. A shallow well was dug from which the boiler pumped salt water to a nearby mine. Turns out the freshwater lake is salty, only a few metres down.
why do we normally find quartz near gold? They have... So quartz veins run with uh, gold veins usually so what happens at the moment the quartz have been pushed up from the earth and then been eroded by rain which hopefully there's gold in the similar area yeah but we probably won't find any just by looking because somebody's probably already done that well you, you need a metal detector really yeah. the only way we'd be have a chance to find some gold is if we get a bit of dirt and pan it yeah so to do it but it's still worth looking around yeah could stumble across the nugget of the century. Oh, that'll do. Let's see the dirt. This is Chadwin Tank on Credo Station. Um, this was dug for mining, and um, around it here is all fenced off to keep the cattle out, stop animals from falling in, injuring themselves. And there's a big bund built around it. Now all the, the bund and the fencing has only been done since um, they re-dug this out because it was used for the mining and then it wasn't used for years. And they situated it in a creek bed so the water flows up and fills up the tank. But of course over the years it filled with sediment and nobody dug it out. So some people have done the restoration work digging it out. And I can't remember the figure for how many litres it held. But it's pretty deep. What do you reckon? Five, four or five metres deep? Yeah, about that. Twelve, fourteen foot maybe? Yeah, pretty deep. And they used to um, pump it out for the miners. And the miners obviously used the water for sluicing and whatever they had to do to separate the gold from the dirt. <coughs> so they were charging the miners a dollar forty for a hundred gallons of water. And that's four hundred litres. And in 1910, when they dug and made this tank that is a lot of money that's um, like the value of gold not a cheap process to get gold out of the ground in country where there's barely any water another interesting fact that the caretaker at credo told me is the fencing is all original stuff taken from around the station and the barbed wire that you see around the top of it that was plucked from the trenches in germany Typical Australian, got to use for everything. Finished up the war. Oh, you know what? I could use that back home. And came and put it on their station. So there you go. Bit of history. Bo is taking on a side quest set to us by the caretaker of Credo Station. The side quest was, if you get to Chadwin Tank, please, can you go and fetch my wife's hat? There it is. He said it jokingly, but we're doing it. Well, Bo's doing it. How did they get that cow out of there? Go, Absailer. Was it in here, the cow? Cranes. Yeah. Don't bust a nut. Sneaky little machine wash. I think it's still good. <laughs> Put it on, Bo. Wear that for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's end frame, that is. <laughs> Coming across a dam with a reasonable amount of water in it made for a nice lunch stop. After this, we were off to find more points of interest, marked on the track notes which the caretaker had given to us.
It's not often I lead the convoy astray, but this time I lost track of the trip notes somehow. My compass and GPS pointed to this track, barely two wheel tracks through the scrub, taking us in the general direction we needed to go. So I took a chance. The others were nervous. I was secretly a little nervous, but was sure not to show it. Once that happens, everyone gets spooked and things can go downhill very quickly. Luckily, I was right. We popped out into a clearing where I could see the grader we had been searching for, just behind the bushes. I reckon if we give her a jump, she'll go. Give her a jump and she'll go. What's the diagnosis, Jake? Why did it stop? Um, because it's yellow. <laughs> nice. I like it. Because reasons. Because reasons. It's got an hour now. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to change the gears in between the steering wheel. <laughs> break an arm. Yeah, You're just changing arm. gears Daddy. and it hits a rock. There's just one more thing we want to check out before we go chill around the campfire at the end of the day. And that's the old shearing shed. What do you reckon this is, Taylor? A hay baler? It's a wool baler. Ah, wool, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Wool baler. Sorry. Well, they would have used this to go down. Would have gone down and then pushed it. What does it smell? That's a lot of poo under there, that's all sheep poo. I just want to point out that uh, they stopped using this as a sheep station in 2001. So all that turd is 18 years old. By the time we got back to camp, those suspicious clouds you've been seeing throughout this video had developed into something a little moist, and the wind was picking up. We panned our way through the soil we collected today, and found the tiniest amount of gold, like not even enough to buy you a Snickers. <laughs> With some lamb in the camp oven, and a roaring fire, it wasn't so bad, and that sunset was something else. This morning, it's time to leave this place. Now, we head southeast for Kalgoorlie, where we must fuel up, have a decent shower after five days in the bush, and stock up on food and water before we begin the final leg of this adventure. Next time you see us, we will be east of Kalgoorlie, where we met a bloke over the UHF radio who disclosed the location of an ancient army barracks. We'll also be exploring the Woodlines tracks, where many hundred thousand tons of wood was collected to fuel the hungry mining industry. Thanks for coming along to explore Credo and Rouse, and while you wait for the next video, why not check out a few of our older adventures?